Have you ever considered the similarities between software code and the creation of the world by God? In Genesis chapter 1, we read how God created the heavens and the earth. He spoke, and with his words, he brought forth light and various other creations. Similarly, when we look at software code, we see a string of letters, numbers, and words. But when these elements are arranged in a specific order, they can form pictures and even videos. However, when we view the code in developer mode, it may appear as gibberish to us. It's only when we switch to the user interface that we can see the actual picture or video. The sequence of characters in the code matters. If even one letter or character is out of place, the picture or video won't look right or may not appear at all. The same principle applies to God's word. When God spoke, life began. Light appeared and all living creatures came into existence. However, many people tend to view God's creative power as something of the past. But the truth is, God is still in the business of creating. Think he created you anew through his word. When the gospel of Jesus Christ was preached and you believed in your heart and confessed Jesus as Lord, a new creation took place within you. Your identity changed because your code, your foundation of faith, was transformed. Paul the Apostle wrote that if you are in Christ, everything about you is new. The old has passed away, and all things have become new. And who is the cause of this new creation? It is the Word of God. Just as software code can create pictures and videos, God's Word has the power to transform and create a new reality in us. God bless you. God loves you. God smiles when he sees you.